Hello everyone, in this video we're going to learn how to use uh, the interactive tool that is provided in the learninglab.com uh, where we could create in practice uh, making entity relationship diagrams. So in order to go there you need to type learninglab.paragraph.com and then from here click on login. You provide your email and your password then click on login after that click on introduction to MIS and then from here you click on resources then you need to scroll down all the way up to ERD interactive problems click on it if you receive any error message while opening this click activate your flash and then you could choose always on that one here this is an amazing tool this actually helps you really understand the entire entity relationship diagrams although this is using Chen's notation but still it's very much relevant in understanding creating basic relationships so it starts off with very basic example very basic problem and then it goes on to medium and then very sophisticated one. There are a couple of problems into it. So in order to navigate between problems you could use these arrows and uh, let's go and see if I could get this right. Like okay let me read. Each semester each student must be assigned an advisor who counsels students about degree requirements and helps students register for courses. Represent the situation with an ER diagram. Alright, so let's assume I don't know anything about this and how to use this tool as well too. So where you begin, you click on this, the question mark button, the round question mark. Here it explains everything to you. Okay, so based on scenario described, create an entity relationship diagram. You need to connect the entities, relationships, cardinalities in a correct manner. It also tells you how to manipulate things. You could use control and then plus left key it's amazing you know this tool click close on it for example I could hold my control key and then click on this see this is what it's talking about alright so let me try this if I could get it right so it says that each semester so I know that there are students and then there are also advisors so I'll start with advisors so here we go we have an advisor and um, advises what an advisor counsels see here advisor counsels students who does he counsel an advisor can counsel many students in this case and then students they could register all right into many courses there you go isn't that sweet and nice? So here we could all already see that the advisor entity has a relationship with the students. An advisor can counsel many students, whereas a student could be counseled by one advisor. And there is a many to many relationship between students entity and the courses. A student could register into many courses in many courses could have many students a student or a course could have many students let's click on the next one so here if you don't know how things work you could basically try to drag it here and then it won't let you so if you do it a couple of times like that then you could either click on hint or the step by step would get activated the button so you could click on this it tells you everything step by step like assume that a department blah 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 it defines everything to you as well too an entity what is an entity it's a person place object event or concept and the user environment about which the organization wishes to maintain data wow that's amazing alright now I want to know what are the entities here so you could click on this there you go it would go and choose like okay department is one entity manager is another entity 
employees as an identity and also job classes so what do you need to do you need to bring them all into this one box and name it as entities all right fair enough what next so I need to click on the play button again now the next thing is we need to identify the relationships all right so a manager manages so manages is one employees is another and then shares is another relationship it also defined what relationship is so you could read that yourself all right what next so what is this the third step is creating symbols so I need to bring all my entities into the square boxes if you're using crow's foot notation this would be within the line itself like instead of diamond you basically just write manages all right entities are represented as squares and relationships are represented as diamonds this is in Chen's notation next what else now we need to link the entities and relationships together so you see a manager manages department and a department employs employees and employees share jobs there you go you click on it again and that's it and it also talks about the other important aspect of relationship which is called cardinalities like in the kid type of relationship between two entities that is is it one to one one too many or many too many a department is managed by how many by one manager and see a department is managed by one so you go from manager to to depart from department to manager and then from manager a manager manages how many one department so there's a one-to-one -one relationship between these two same way a department can have many employees so you see one to many but an employee belongs to only one department that's it go next uh, it starts again so if you click on it and then everything goes back from the very beginning so for the next ones you can click on it and if you can't figure it out uh, just drag it and try a couple of times here and then step by step would appear and then you could use the same concepts again in creating your own entity relationship diagrams um, that's it for this video